All right, now I I, I read this. Um, it's deer season around here. Yeah, and and I'm sure, um, especially at night. Yep. Driving around. Yep. They're everywhere. Yep. Uh, November is a big month for deer crashes. Uh, yeah, because yes. it's hunting season, which means they're on the move a lot. Now I'm I, I'm sure that that you've heard some things and you've got your own theories how to avoid hitting a deer when you're out driving around because it happens a lot. Sure it does, especially um, up here. I mean, think about it. You're going into the change of the time. Uh-huh. You're also going into colder weather. So a lot of times they're moving around trying to eat to yep. fatten up a little bit before they go into their semi-hibernation state. And then there's hunters out march- marching the woods. So yeah, they're uh, on the move. They say peak times for activity on roadways mm-hmm. uh, around dawn and then between, say, 6 and 9 in the Twilight-y. evening. Twilighty. It's um, right when it gets to start to get dark and cool down. And then when the time yeah. changes, it's going to be earlier than that. So yes. be careful. Correct. Um, how do you avoid them? Or one, slow down. Don't be going too fast um, because you have to kind of watch out for them. Yep. Yeah. Um, be aware. Again, if you're in those areas, you know where they are. Mm-hmm. Look around. Don't ignore it. Look for them. And and, and tell you what, with, with the, uh, the grass browning up, it is difficult to see them they because they blend in. They are becoming in. more and more the same color yeah. as the terrain. Uh, be alert if you happen to see at least one. Sometimes they have friends. Um, slow Often. down. Oftentimes they do. Uh, they say break. Don't swerve because usually if you're going to swerve into like oncoming lanes of traffic, now you're hitting somebody else and that isn't good either. And well, and let's be honest, the deer themselves sometimes, most yeah. of the time they go in the direction they're already pointed, but sometimes they spook, they rear back, go the other way. So if you're you swerving, know. you could wind up doing more damage. Um, again, assume they have friends. They yes. usually don't travel alone. No. Um, don't rely on those deer whistles because they're, um, there's no scientific evidence that proves that having a deer whistle on the front of your car will keep them away. I'm sure it doesn't hurt, but it is not a end-all, be-all solution to keep the venison away from your bumper right. and the side of your car. Um, buckle up, wear your seatbelt, because if you do happen to hit one, you don't want to uh, you know, have even more of an accident Yes, because your seatbelt is off. And they say, too, um, if you do happen to hit one, move off the road safely. Don't go touching them. No. Call somebody to come take care of Here's this. Here's the thing. Sometimes they're still super hyper-adrenalized, too. You go to trust them, and they're going to jump. They're also usually covered in ticks. You don't mm-hmm. want that. Get yourself, if you can, if your vehicle's able to get it off the side of the road, get your hazard lights on. Yep. Stay inside it. Put as many lights on as you can and yep. call for help. And just true. stay put and be safe. Because um, sometimes that deer will jump up and take off, too. True. Yeah, and 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 they could hurt you physically because you're out there looking at it and doing all. Yeah, kinds of well, crazy and stuff. you got Don't. the bucks with their their racks right. that can get you. You got the the does that can just rear back with yeah. their paws. You don't want to get bit by them. You don't want to get struck by them. Just and you mm-hmm. don't want to get ticks from them because no. Dave Mers will tell you getting bit by a tick. Deer ticks. Not yep. fun. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Not fun. Google Plasma. Google Google anaplasmosis. Had it. Yeah. <laughs> get more info on avoiding deer on the roadways. Yes, FM Facebook. Exit 967 Yes FM and the Mersin in the Morning page at yesfm.com.